always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Welcome back. I hope that you've enjoyed your weekend. We've had some really beautiful weather over the past few days. Nice enough that you could keep the air conditioner off, but that changed as we went through this Sunday. Starting to work in some more mugginess, and that's going to set the tone for this week. It looks like we'll have some pretty warm temperatures with highs extending from the mid 80s to the low 90s, and we will have uh, those dew points up around 70 degrees. That's also going to feed into several chances for some showers and storms as we go through this week. So it looks like we'll have, uh, again, some more mugginess. It'll feel more more uh, moist outside as you uh, move through this week. We'll take a look in Allendale now. You can find that we have mostly cloudy skies. Same story in Grand Rapids at this moment. Much more cloud covered today. Our temperature is measured at 82 degrees. The dew point has climbed near 70 degrees. The wind is from the southwest now at 11 miles per hour, continuing to feed in some more moist air. There's a look at our temperatures now across lower Michigan. They range from the mid 70s in Muskegon, where they're currently dealing with some showers, to the mid 80s in Flint. It's 86 there. Upper 80s as you approach Detroit, 88 degrees, 86 in Traverse City, 81 currently in Benton Harbor. Focusing in closer toward West Michigan now, our wind speeds are between 5 and 15 miles per hour drawn from the south. And as I was mentioning, those dew points are going to continue to climb, moving through tonight, upper 60s, lower 70s, probably peaking at about 72, 73 degrees tomorrow. So it's certainly going to feel quite muggy on our Monday. Let's get a look at Storm Track Live. You can see that we have some scattered showers out there. Some of these are dropping some pretty hefty amounts of rainfall in a brief period of time. As you approach Muskegon, you can see that we have some rain up that way, and that continues to uh, move from south to north. And you can also see that as you move into portions of uh, Kent County, we also have some showers right now. As you move further south, closer toward Middleville, Caledonia, near Rockford, Cedar Springs, and Lake Odessa also receiving uh, some rain right now. Let's go to future cast. So you can find that we will have some more scattered showers, a few storms as we go through tonight. It looks like that coverage expands as we lead into the middle of the day on Monday with a couple of isolated, stronger storms possible. No severe weather expected for Monday, but as we get to later portions of this week, it does look like on Thursday there may be a chance at uh, developing a few stronger storms. Here's the severe weather risk for tomorrow toward the Dakotas. You can see a slight risk and also a marginal risk further to the southwest of Michigan. So we'll continue to monitor that situation. Situation. Here as we go through time on future cast leading into Wednesday and Thursday, you can see the system coming later this week with another chance of some showers and storms, likely on Thursday and then into Friday, and that does present the chance of some severe weather to happen. Lows tonight should be falling into the middle and upper 60s. Not quite as comfortable. You'll definitely want to turn on the air conditioner. 67 in White Cloud, 68 tonight in Greenville, and 69 in Muskegon. A low temperature tonight of 68 in Grand Rapids, 67 in Saugatuck, and further south. Also lows in those middle to upper 60s, including 69 in Coldwater and Sturgis. Here's the eight-day forecast. Humid, that's the name of the game this week. Dew points around 70 degrees, highs in the middle to upper 80s, touching 90 on Wednesday afternoon before it looks like we welcome back some sunshine next weekend. Amanda?